Hey friends, new and old, it's your friendship, and today we're going to take a look at Monster High's G3 Draculaura, and just look at her in this box. So beautiful. I think she definitely transitioned into G3 really, really well. She comes with a whole bunch of really cool accessories. And we can see Count Fabulous right here. I'm looking much better than G1. And we've got her artwork right here and her font for her name, her little symbol. So cute. I love the artwork. And we can see on the side, we've got some designs. Oh, magic hand, the magic potion. I love that she is interested in witchcraft. I think that's pretty cool. And Draculaura is a fantastic vampire. Her monster must haves are SPF 500 and cherry juice. And her monster pet is Count Fabulous. Her artwork on the back. Everybody hanging out. I think the only artwork that I'm not a huge fan of is Claude Demons. All right, well, let's get Draculaura out of the box and take a closer look. Okay, and we've got Draculaura out of the box. Just take a look at how beautiful she is. She's got some scraggly box hair and her hair feels greasy. Like it's got something in it. Let's take a close-up look at her face. She's got beautiful makeup. And in her eyes, you can see a heart shine. She's got these pink lips. And there's her fangs. We can see she's got nice, thick eyebrows. And got that little heart on her cheek. And she's got the widow's peak type bangs that come down to a point, half pink, half black. And she's got a really cute headband that has a heart with bat wings on it. And we can take a look at her earrings. She's got two earrings. One is a black bat. Can you see that? Like a black heart with bat wings. And the other one is pink bat wings. You can see her ears are larger and more pronounced in the bat elf vampire type of ear. And she's got this little bat bow. It's kind of like a fake plastic. And you can see she's got a necklace on. And if we look really close, it's like one of those necklaces with a, um, one of those charms that has like a little face in it. I wish it would get, can you see that? It's like a little sideways profile face. There's the neck. Um, it is attached to her through, you can see in the back here, that's the necklace. And you can see she's got some elastic that keeps it on. I don't think it would stay on very well if you didn't have the elastic on there. And then her top is a corset with stitching and little bats and hearts. And she's got this really pretty like, see-through top, poofy sleeves. Look at her ring. I think she's the only one that came with like a ring of jewelry like that. Very fancy. Bling, bling, bling. She's got articulation in the wrists and in the elbows and in the shoulders. And we've got a rib joint, a chest joint in here that allows her to move back and forth. And we can see that her top comes down into this really frilly 
piece that opens up and we can see that underneath she's got these almost like denim material shorts and they've got little hearts with things on them and in the back we can see that it's attached with velcro and are we velcro yeah velcro for the pants too so it's three different pieces it's this piece that is the corset the top and then the shorts and we can see that she's got a curvier figure to her this time she's not so spindly and she's got these really cool like fishnet stockings on with little ruffles at the top and we can see her shoes are these really pretty pink chunky heels with a bat and heart super cute she does bend at the knees and she does have hip articulation let's take her off the stand for a second and you can see that she's got hip articulation so she can sit down and then we put her knees down so she can sit in the chair pretty good the only thing is i wish these knee joints weren't so scary they're not as scary on her as they were on cleo but still scary well, get those legs back down there we go and she is much shorter than the other ghouls and put her back on the stand Ooh, her hair gets all over the place She's also the first of these dolls that I've opened that, like, the hair's fallen out. And there's a lot of hair on the table. All right, she comes with some accessories. We've got her backpack. It's a nice quilted front with bat wings. It does open, so you can put some accessories in her bag. And it's got some nice straps on the back so that we can strap that right to her it's got a little black marker there. very cool she came with her phone her eye coffin the image is really hard to see on this one compared to the other phones it's got a little bat that's creeping over the top and on the back we can see that it is a coffin it was spider webs a heart lips that have fangs and then the bat and it's got this little peg here that we can put on the, her finger on her thumb and then she's holding her thumb she did come with this little pretzel in a spiderweb type of paper and the little pretzel has eyes and wings so cute nothing on the back and it also has that peg where she can hold it we've got her SPF 500 and another little peg for her to hold it She's got her cherry juice, and it comes in this really cool, drippy, like, tumbler. With cool little scary thing cherries on it. And the top does come off. So we can look down in there, and which is nice. And it's got a nice handle for her to hold in her hand. She came with these glasses little heart shaped lenses with bat wings around them let's take a look and see what they look like 
We gotta lift her hair up a little bit so we can get the glasses around her ears. This part is, there we go. Got that one on. And then get this one on. Fix her hair. Ooh. And her earring. Yeah, it's wonky on that one. There we go. And that's what she looks like with her glasses on. Pretty snazzy. She's just looking at her phone with her glasses on. She's fine. Uh, she did come with her pet, which is Count Fabulous. Looks much better this time around than he did the first time. The head doesn't move. And he almost seems like... It's not, but it's almost like he's a little see-through. But I think it's just a really nice gradient that you see they painted on. Very cute. And she came with this cape that has hearts and bats on it. A little tie in the front with a ruffly collar. And it's on a Monster High hanger. But I also have these doll clothing hangers too that we can use. Because those paper ones are a little rough. And if you don't have her wearing this, it's nice to put it on a hanger. And they came with the doll stands that I have, and they are from Amazon. And let's see if we can put this cape on and not have it be scary. All right, and we got her in the cape. It wasn't too bad. I think the easiest way to tie this is to do the two bunny ears and tie it that way versus putting the bunny through the loop um but it doesn't look bad looks pretty fancy i don't know if she'll always wear it or those glasses but you can see that she can wear her cape All right, what do you think of the new Draculaura? I think she's definitely one of my favorites. I always like the way she looks, and I think they did a very nice job of making Draculaura for this generation. Do you like Draculaura? Do you plan on getting her? Um, would you leave the cape on, or would you take that off? <laughs> Who's your favorite Monster High character? Who's your favorite new G3 version of a character? Who are you really excited to see? I really love that she is taking the path of a witch. I think that's really unique for Draculaura, and I think it's nice to see a witch in the show in some fashion. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed hanging out today, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, click the notification bell so you don't miss the next time we open a really cool toy. And if we aren't friends yet, you know exactly what to do. Hit that subscribe button and stick around. Until next time, bye.